evening, afternoon. I'm so frustrated today when I tell you I had a week from hell. It's just continuing, but it's going to be okay. We're going to man through it. Y'all see the car I'm in right now? A Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, you want to know why I'm in the Jeep Wrangler? Yeah, because my fucking car freaking brake thing started to go out. And it's my fault because the park brake malfunction thing has been on my dashboard for a couple months and i was supposed to check on that and i didn't and now the back left tires start doing some clicking scrubbing shit and apparently i took it to bmw and i need to replace my brake kit and the brake act actuator whatever which is a 1600 dollars part i thought i had a warranty that covers mechanical failure i don't so the total of the charges for that plus the replacement of the brake kit plus the 200 an hour for manual labor at fields bmw which i highly recommend you don't go there because of that almost four thousand dollars i say huh so i was like okay do i pay this four thousand dollars I don't know if I feel comfortable paying $4,000 when I don't have a warranty on my car that I thought I had. So I had to look into trying to get like a additional warranty on the car or trading it out. I went to a dealership, looked, test drove some Mercedes just to see what the numbers are looking like. Well, they said they'll give me $40,000 for my car, but I didn't see anything I actually like. I did see a um, E-Class uh, Mercedes and another CLA, um, but I can't go back. I can't go back to a little car after driving an SUV. And I really love my car. Y'all know I love my ex's BMW. So I'm just going to pray about it. I called around and there's this place called Beamer Tech. Great reviews. All they do is work on Beamers and BMWs. And they specialize in that specific model, make, of car, type of car. So I called them. The actuator is still $1,600. The brake kit is $300 and something. But plus labor, they were charging me $2,100 instead of almost $4,000 that Phil's BMW was charging me. So I was like, okay, cool. So I had to pay $1,300 today just so they can go ahead and order the part. And then I'll pay the rest of the $2,100 once they actually fix it. They said it'll take about three or four days for them to get the part and about a half a day to complete it, like a few hours okay bet so that's the plan and then i was like you know what i'm not gonna uber all over the place i don't want to depend on my friends i have a daughter i need to be able to get around so i decided to go and get like a little toyota a little car compact car to drive for the next few months few months few days and okay i reserve one through enterprise and i get there oh they don't have it but we have a jar our dodge challenger for 130 a day or you can do this jeep wrangler which i love jeep wrangler this is like a car i was definitely gonna get for $100 a day, which the car that I reserved was $70 a day. So this was $30 more. So it came to 600 and something dollars plus a $300 deposit. So it came to about $1,000 just to get this car rented or whatever for a week. Just for a week. But $300 I do get back. I know I'm rambling, but just keep this stay with me. $300 I get back. So I end up paying $650 or something just to rent this Jeep Wrangler for a week. So hopefully by the time this is done, my car will be done. Girl, when I tell you it got worse, girl, I drove my car to my um parking thing and that thing was like scrubbing like boom 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 girl oh my god y'all it was just it's so bad it's so bad i would never ignore a light on my dashboard with a luxury car ever again ever again like i feel like it's partially my fault but whatever i'm trying to stay positive i'm trying to stay positive i'm trying not to trip like it is what it is life happens you just gotta roll with it but god dang i just spent like twenty three hundred dollars today but it's still less than the four thousand i would have paid through fields bmw so there's that <sighs> anyway y'all that's my rant i'm just getting home now i'm about to just try to relax it's about to rain it was sunny earlier i was gonna try to lay out by the pool and just clear my mind and get it together but clearly that's not on god's plan for me either so i'm just about to take my ass upstairs and try to relax because I have to work tomorrow. That's all I got for y'all. Life's update. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we're getting some groceries and make some salmon tonight. Try to get past this rough day because we are what? Resilient and we keep moving and life happens and we figure it out. Ain't that right, poo poo? Drive the car, we're gonna crash. Drive it. Drive the car. Drive the car, you were just steering it. Drive it. Drive the car. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Girl, we're gonna decondition your hair tonight. Beep, beep. This is the Jeep we have. 
for a week. Beep, beep. Ooh. Ooh. All right, you gonna help mommy load? Yeah, you gonna help mommy load? All right, let's do it. I guess we gotta unlock it first. Sit down, Bookie Boop. You supposed to be helping mommy. Yeah, sit that booty down. Mm -hmm. Girl. Come on. Hey. Hey y'all, good morning. Say good morning. We are, she got her little unicorn purse child. <laughs> she hyped, she know we're going somewhere. So we heading to Volcano Bay. I'm running by the bank to deposit this check real quick. And then I'm meeting my sister and Leilani. But we're gonna have a good day. Our bags are packed. Y'all, it is so hard to get ready with a child. Jesus. She wanted to be picked up. She crying, she getting and everything. I'm like, oh my God. But I'm excited. Of course, I'm going to take you guys with me. So we're going to stay at Cabana Bay Resort. And we're going to Volcano Bay, which is like walking right down the sidewalk to get there. So it'll be... Uh... Yeah, tell them. Tell them where you're going. Tell them where you're going. Tell them where you're going with your little space buns. Yeah. Volcano Bay. Volcano Bay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, so I'll get back on here in a little bit.
London, Leilani, Jesus. Hey. Do your step. Do your dance. Do your dance. They know you can sing. Look how big Leilani got, y'all. The singer. Shit. Oh, you gonna come with me? Oh, don't no, don't act like it's a big deal. She gonna cry. Just chill, just like, just chill, you know. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Short moment. Right. So it's our last day here. We're just enjoying the hot tub, jacuzzi. I actually have to get home and film a few videos because I work tomorrow and then my sister does my hair Tuesday morning. So we're just kind of taking it all in. Y'all, take the time to do staycations for yourself, okay? And I know I look crazy, but that's all right. Like, take the time to do staycations for yourself because it really helps your mindset. Like it helps you relax. Like it's just a vibe. Like if you're a mom, single mom, like it's okay to be single. You know, it's okay to have it be all on you. You know what I'm saying? Like just enjoy your life. Like I think that's why people really like to watch my channel. It's because it's like it motivates them to like want to do better want to be better and that's what I'm all about like you don't need a man to live your best life is it great to have one yeah sure whatever but only if they're a great partner you know what I'm saying like until then live your best life sis spoil your children sis let these beautiful black babies know that luxury is normal you know what I'm saying like vacations are normal jet set baby is normal like travel is normal like you can teach them that. You can be that. You can change their lives. They don't have to have the life that you had. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to show my daughter way more than what I was exposed to. Hell, I never got on a plane until I was like 18, which is crazy to me. Maybe 20. Damn. Like, I want my baby flying all over the place. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. And I'll get back on here when I'm probably back home ready to film. But I love y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment on my channel, like, follow the family, join the family. I always love having y'all. So I will catch y'all in the next video. All right.
Good afternoon. So today is Tuesday. I'm getting my hair done at my sister's and then we are craving oysters. So we are going to try to find a dope oyster spot. We want some charboiled oysters. I know the best place is in Tampa, but Orlando, I gotta start scavenging around, looking around and seeing where the good place is at. Because we gonna we, find them, we gonna find them. We gonna find them. We're craving oysters. I get to have a day to myself. I took London to Volcano Bay, which you guys saw earlier in the vlog. So today is just pamper me day. We got some micro loops happening. This is with Y wig. So a separate video will be up in regards to this install. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm excited. I just need to relax. I'm so exhausted. I ain't getting no sleep. Yesterday in the ER was freaking crazy, but it was so good. I pretty much was on my own. I had a whole section, but I was like, man, in it. like it was really good. Like I was on go the whole time pretty much. And it makes time fly by so fast. So today I'm just trying to relax. I work tomorrow and I work Friday. Off Saturday, work Sunday. Then I'm off like Monday through Wednesday. So I want to try to plan something with London again, like for the few days that I'm off. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm just all for balance. Like work hard play hard like just try to relax and do fun i may book a spa day again at the ritz mar you gotta come i would do that but you also got guys to. gotta come to aquatica oh maybe we can do aquatica when okay maybe we can do that because i want to i don't know Aquatica's bomb. is it for london yeah okay i'm all trying to do like now she hates leaving my side usually she's attached to grandma but when she dropped when i dropped her she was looking at me like look at it grandma like <laughs> I say, mommy, you got me back. Like, she's getting so attached to me because, you know, every time mommy pick her up, we're going to do something fun. So, I just want to instill that in her early on. But anyway, y'all, let me go ahead and get my hair done. I'll get back on here when it's done. I'm so excited. And I will see y'all in a bit. Called Wine for Oysters Bar and Bites. So I'm ready. That's what it's hitting. You and I. Often when I was in New York, Charlie, you were trying to run on me. This is the Kilpatrick. This is the grilled cheese. That's on fire. And then the other one is rock and All right, so let's try. This is wait, the macaroni or the cheddar? This is the grilled cheese oyster. Grilled cheese oyster. Okay. That is so different. Wow. Mm. I thought I was gonna like that one the least. Okay. Wow, that's good. Mm. <laughs> fire. On fire. So we did the baked oy oyster sampler, which is like two of each, Rockefeller grilled cheese, Kilpatrick, and on fire. So this is the on fire. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna take this smell for the last time you was just picked. Oh, I know, I'll let you pick. Yeah, like a sweet sriracha taste. Mm. Not bad. Different, mm -hmm. but not bad. And this is still winning. The grilled cheese is still winning mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do the Kilpatrick. Boiled with bacon, Worcestershire, and barbecue. And there was another customer here that said that they were excellent. They came, he's so. from New Orleans, and he came for this. 
is... So this is Kilpatrick. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's good, just a little too salty for my liking. Yeah, same. The bacon. Mm. A little overpowering, but it's good. It is good. If it was a bigger oyster, maybe? Yeah. Butter. Alright, cheers! cheers. <laughs> That's good. That was a good hot sauce, too. Oh my gosh, yeah. Mm. I like that one more than the. In the grilled cheese? In the cheese? Should I ask for six of those instead of the original? I don't want more original horseradish. You can double up. That's good, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you are in the Orlando area, try Wine Forge and Blind Bites. They have so many different options. Mm -hmm. They're good. I'm really going to do another coffee. additional, like, steamed ones, too, just basically. That's what I just ordered. Six of yeah. the steamed, but if you want more. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we are messing up these shrimp. They gone. Mm -hmm. So it's in like a butter sauce. But we added hot sauce and horseradish. Y'all gotta add a lot of hot sauce and horseradish. Mm. Listen. Mm. Mm. I mean, just sopped up good. Like, oof. Definitely coming back here. For sure. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They've been open for five years. They only open at four o'clock, four to 10. Keep that in mind too. Mm. Oh my God. One for me, one for you. Definitely 10 out of 10. You guys gotta come check it out. For sure. Check it out. We recommend this place 100%. We never really give any place a 10 out of 10. Mm -mm. Mm. She has a huge following on the yeah. Instagram. Yes. Yeah. Sky! Oh my gosh, she I'm ready me. to see it. I'm ready to see it. Oh, it lights up in here at night. She has it set up. It's so oh, cozy. Can you, flip, can you flip both of the switches? Yeah. Thank you. It's so cozy. Oh, outside. Can I show her your outside? Yes, please. You're do. so funny. Sorry, I love her little boho. Like, guys, she fried fish out here. She fried something yesterday. Shit was so bomb, bitch. Really? Bomb as fuck. She this is so cute. Just chill. Have your tea or wine. I love it. That's why I'm always over here, girl, when I'm here. <laughs> yeah, she's like really close. You can walk over here from your shop. Yeah, right there. She lights up. So oh my god, cute. your pad is dope. I love the way you set up the um out for our outside. Yeah, this is was a baby. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Such a vibe. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait! Oh! Fucking nice, bro. Bitch, you better. 